Hello everyone, welcome to ElliotWaveDashForecast.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is Wednesday, June of 8th, and the time is 2.30 a.m. GMT. And today we're going to be looking at the chart of the Euro Yen. Uh, 60 minutes chart here, we can see uh, we finished with 2 in the minor degree at 133.9, uh, and now about to finish with 3 pretty soon then from there we should be getting a through pullback and then turning higher again now obviously it is bullish with the uh, green right side tag so this can extend as much as it wants this is not by any means um, you know something that we like to sell even if we are calling for a pullback when the right side is up what that means is the cycle or the the trend is bullish so if there is any pullback which is possible now we do like uh, the upside for the upside so technically this is meant to say that we like the the upside we favor the upside pullback is opportunity to buy in the dips uh, instead of trying to time every single swing and trying to sell which a lot of traders make the mistakes of doing so all right so symbol uh, any pullback should find support in 3 swing or in 7 swing against 133.9 as long as this pivot is holding any pullback is going to find support now if uh, assuming we're going to be looking for a for soon you can use some sort of retracement to give you some rough ideas what sort of retracement are we talking about so if it is a wave 4 and let's assume we drop right now uh, then that means uh, wave 4 typically is between 23.6 38.2% retracement so we're talking about this area just rough ideas not exact levels uh, 139.1 140 is going to be approximately where it should be ending the pullback assuming we drop right now of course and it can extend as much as it wants like I said because it's bullish alright so uh, if we look at the larger degree, let's take a look at the uh, at the daily. So here is the daily time frame. All right, you see Euro Yen consistently on the daily since we bottomed in the April May 2020. This is the COVID-19 low. We continue to make a high, 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 and breaking very impulsively to the upside. Now, just uh, if you take a look at it from the March 2022 perspective. So first of all, you can simply draw a swing. This is a swing, right? This is a correction of this and then you start a new cycle and you got a pullback and that pullback is also complete and you got a new breakout again right so we have a, a couple of um, cycle here right this cycle is finished here the correction is finished here we got a new cycle of finish here the correction is also finished and then now we break higher again so now uh, if looking at the uh, daily now this wave 2 that you see right here is actually this wave 2 right here not this one but this one okay so you did, if this wave 2 this is your wave 1 and you see how impulsive this move is so this is within only wave 3 right which is what you see here we are finishing with 3 so that means uh, we should be getting a 4 and another leg higher again so at the least we should be getting a five ways up from here from may 12th right now in terms of potential target on the upside uh we can measure it actually from the march 2022 because we also got a swing here this one and two here right and this one looks impulsive here we finish it here so again a uh, simple uh, extension here suggests we can go all the way up to uh, 148.3 right now that doesn't mean we go straight up uh, possible but it doesn't mean so I mean for example these five waves to make, could be completed here we go we pull back first and then we rally again and so on but eventually the target is going to be 148 as long as we don't break below this one right this is more important than than this now this 133.9 is only important only for one more leg higher, right? Only for, for one more leg higher, uh, right? So that 133.9 or 133.8 is just 
important level for one molecule higher but but this one this 132 this is important for the move up to 148 because like I said we could be for example finishing up five ways first here and then do a bigger pullback first up before turning higher again right so then um, but I think even this is not gonna be broken in my opinion even if it this pullback it's unlikely in my opinion this pullback can be so deep like this uh, before turning higher but what I'm trying to say is that this level is more important than this level in terms of going up into this uh, you know 148 so that's basically what we're looking for now in the shorter cycle then uh, if, if just focusing on the shorter cycle then basically the focus is just one more push higher that's it and for wave 5 you can use various ways to measure wave 5 uh, but that requires you to finish 3 and 4 first before you can measure with 5. One possible way is to use the inverse retracement, 123.6% inverse retracement as a target for with 5. Or with 1 equal with 5 is another possibility. So basically, uh, if, you know, just focusing on the shorter cycle, then uh, basically the focus is just one more like higher for with 5. But if you focus more in a medium term, then the focus can be, uh, you know, targeting 148. Uh, but that doesn't mean it will go straight up like I said it can pull back first before going up again but eventually we're going to be aiming for 148 minimum alright so that's the update here guys for today and as always if you want to get uh, regular updates on forex commodities uh, indices stocks cryptos uh, welcome to try our service we have 14 days trial and the link is in the description of the video so I'll see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone.